Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about form field tracking. Now as always these little videos are brought to you by my course on Google Tag Manager where you'll learn all the essentials to use this tool effectively. If you want to check it out head over to gtmtraining.com slash YouTube. Now as you might know one of our last videos we have installed a form tracking so we'll send over a, a Google Analytics event upon form submit and if you want to check that out just um, go to the video auto event tracking and I'll show you how to set that up. Now once we have set this up we have a contact field which fires a Google Analytics event tag upon form submit. So for example here put in test we have here preview and debug console and once we click on the send button and I'll do click on it and then press the escape key so it doesn't forward the page you see that we have a form submit as an event and our event tag in GA submitted and when we look into this event tag you see our category was form submit our action was submit and the event label contact now what do we want to accomplish today well I've built in a new form field here which is called how did you find out about us and we have different options here Google Facebook and YouTube this is just an example and what I want to achieve today is to transfer whatever the user selected over to our Google Analytics tag. Now why do we have a new form field here and why don't I just transfer the name or the email address over to Google Analytics? Well, you might know that the name and the email address are personal identifiable information, PII information, that is prohibited by the TOCs of Google Analytics to be transferred to the tool and if we would transfer it we might run the risk of getting our account shut down. So I don't want to risk that but you could definitely send in the email address or the name with the same method that I'll show you in a second and it's quite common to send over for example the name or the email address to other tools such as email automation tools or web analytics tools like Kissmetrics. So now how do we get the value of this field? Well, we already have a form submit here. And when we once we look into the data layer of this form submit, we have a object here in the data layer element. Now in order to inspect that object, I actually need to go into developer tools of Google Chrome, which we can do under the view options and developer we have here developer tools and we'll directly go into the console of our developer tools and put in the data layer and we see all these objects here um, the normal objects such as gtmjs gtm dom gtm load and the last one is our gtm form submit and here we can actually go into the object of the GTM element and inspect that. So we have a lot of different fields here and the one that interests me especially are these little inputs here. And one of these inputs is probably our field right here, how did you find out about us. So let's just hover over them and see what we can find out. And right here, number 12 is our form field that we want to transfer. So let's click into this. And we can go down. And it has many different keys here. But the one that interests me is the actual value. And here we have the value and it says Google. And this is exactly the value that I want to pull out and transfer to Google Analytics. Now how do we pull out values out of the data layer? The easiest method is variables. So let's set up a data layer variable that pulls out the value from this value field. Let's head over to Google Tag Manager. 
go into our variables and define a new variable and obviously we are accessing the data layer so we'll go with the data layer variable let's name this correctly and now what do we put into the configuration of this variable we can make use of the dot notation which is shown here in the second version of the data layer where we can pull out anything out of the data layer as long as we use the dot notation. So in our case, we started out pretty big up here. We looked into the object of GTM form submit. Then we broken down into the GTM element. Then we went into number 12 of our inputs and we went through to the value. Now how would we input that into our variable? Let's go back. Since we are already in the object of GTM form submit, we just need to break down even further by going into the GTM element. Then we want to have number 12 and we want to have the value. And that's already it. Let's create this variable. Refresh our preview in debug mode. Close here our developer tools. And let's reload this page. Put in contact here. And we'll choose something else this time, YouTube and let's click send and I will again press the escape key so we'll stop the browser from redirecting us and now we see here we have a GTM form submit once we click on this event and choose the variables we see here the input field source is now YouTube and this is something we can use in our Google Analytics tag so let's go over to the Google Tag Manager into our tags and restructure our event tag which we have right here and we have the form submit, the action submit and as a label contact now I want to change this into our input field source so let's choose the variable here And now the label should represent the field how did you find out about us from the form. Let's continue this, save this tag, refresh our preview in debug mode, go back to our contact field and reload that. And now put in a test again. and I'll choose Facebook this time and click on send and then just let it run through we can see if the data is received in Google Analytics correctly let's head over to Google Analytics and go into the real-time reporting and here we have events and we just saw that an event has fired our event category was form submit, our event action was submit, but we want to see what's in the label and we see here we have now Facebook as the event label and this is exactly what we've inputted into our field how did you find out about us. Now we could repeat this exercise by looking into our data layer again and we have different, many different inputs if we wanted to transfer for example the name or the email address we just need to find out which input is the correct one and then transfer 
its value into a variable. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. I hope you, by now you understand how you can transfer any value that is in the form that was just submitted into a variable and then transfer that onto your marketing tool. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, head over to gtmtraining.com. I'm Julian. Till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody, now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.